cheap versus expensive carpet and upholstery extractors. So can an inexpensive unit compete with a model that is eight times the price? So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm comparing two very popular carpet and upholstery extractors in the car detailing industry. So on the inexpensive corner, we have the Bissell Spot Clean Pro unit that costs roughly 165 USD or 190 Canadian dollars at the moment of this recording. And on the expensive side, we have the popular Mighty 8070 Lite carpet and upholstery extractor. This one here comes in at a 1,379 USD or 1,650 Canadian dollars. So uh, more than eight times the price of the inexpensive model. So in this video, we're gonna go over uh, the features of each one, the pros, the cons. I'm gonna give you a demo, of course, of uh, each one in use so you can see how they perform. And you're gonna learn everything about there is to know about carpet and upholstery extractions. So which solutions we can put in the tanks to do the cleaning job, uh, what are the uh, dilution ratios, which ones I recommend, uh, what other equipment do you need to do a proper job. So we're going to go all uh, over all of that. So let's start right away. By the way, don't worry, I'll include the links to all the products, the tools, and the equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Also, quick disclaimer, this is not a paid review. Nobody paid for this video. Uh, Mighty did not send me this unit, and Bissell, or Bissell did not send me this unit. So I ordered both of these online. Uh, so I can give you, uh, well, my opinion on uh, both. Both, by the way, are very good for different reasons. So let's start on the cheap side. So right here we have, as I said, the uh, Bissell Spot Clean Pro unit. So it's a portable unit, very compact in size. And what are the features? This one does not have a water heater. So what you do have to put in to the uh, water tank is some warm water. So of course you're limited with this one, uh, the water temperature. So typically uh, your uh, tap water with the uh, water heater in your home is going to heat it up to a rough roughly 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's as high as they'll go. Abyssal does not recommend using boiling water in this unit. So you have two tanks. Basically, you have the water tank and the formula, so your cleaning solution in here. So you're free to either use just clean water or use uh, water with a uh, light cleaner inside. More on that in the demo. I'll explain how we do all this. So I already pre-filled this now with the uh, hot water and the solution. And you have the uh, dirt tank. So here with a handle, you pull this out, you empty it out when you're done, and that is it. You can just clean the containers with uh, some warm soapy water and you're good to go. So very little maintenance. And so you put this together and of course, there's the carpet and upholstery tool. So this is a five foot uh, length hose. So it's not super long. However, the advantage of this one, again, is that it is very portable and it is quite inexpensive. So again, coming in at 165 US dollars or 190 Canadian dollars. Uh, so this one here is the most powerful portable carpet and upholstery cleaner that Bissell makes. And um, it still does a great job. I mean, I've had this now for quite a while. Uh, it works very well. And even professional detailers out there that do um, what we call very very dirty vehicle cleaning or those uh, disgusting uh, type filthy videos that we see, right? The disaster details, um, they they use this very often. So you're going to see uh, guys like the Detail Geek, the Detail Geek uh, YouTube channel with over 3 million subscribers. Professional detailer does some of the dirtiest vehicles I have ever seen. I've never encountered that in 25 years of detailing cars. Uh, so he does some very dirty stuff and he uses uh, a Bissell Spot Clean Pro unit just like this one to do the job. So so yes, you can do the job. Uh, so it has a 5.7 amp motor. Uh, again, it doesn't have uh, any heater. It weighs in at only uh, just over 13 pounds. So if we look at the weight of that uh, in kilos, that's 5.8 or 5.9 kilos around there. Uh, it has a two-year warranty and it's made in China if that's important to you. Um, so yeah, overall it works quite well. So what's the next step up from this? If you're somebody that uh, just likes to have stronger performance, that wants the ultimate in something or you're a detailing professional that does heavy volume cleaning so you do a lot of cars 
often on an everyday basis and you want something that will work better uh, and that has more suction power, that has a bigger motor and that has an integrated heater, well, look no further than this. This is probably the most sold um, carpet and um, upholstery extractor on the market and this is definitely the most sold one over at Mighty. Mighty, by the way, is a, a company out of the USA, so this is made in USA. Uh, we're going to talk about the warranties uh, uh, a bit later. But so the construction itself is very, very heavy duty plastic. It's roto molded uh, polyethylene housing. So this one here built like a tank, uh, very easy to maintain. Just a quick wipe down every now and then and uh, it can stay clean. It also comes uh, with this carpet and upholstery tool. So this is a much heavier duty unit, obviously. It has this braided stainless steel hose, uh, as you can tell, to uh, bring the uh, liquid in or the water. You have the trigger right here. It has a clear housing, which I like on the tool. Uh, the same thing with, by the way, the uh, Bissell carpet uh, and upholstery extractor. So the advantage of this is you can see when you're still pulling suds. So if you still are, that means you need to continue cleaning until you see just clear water come out of there. Uh, so that way, uh, you know when you're done removing the solution. And also you can see, I think it's pretty cool because you have that window here, that uh, plastic transparent thing. Uh, you can see the, uh, the dirt being sucked up. So it also visually indicates when you're done the cleaning job. Uh, it has this uh, heat guard hose wrap that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it has quick disconnects with these uh, attachments to protect them from uh, uh, disconnecting. In the front of the unit, by the way, it has these casters, so you can roll this around compared to the Bissell, which has no wheels. So it has locking casters. There we go, so you can roll this around. So here you have the vacuum attachment. So in the bottom, the blue tank, this is your uh, clean solution. So you're either just water or water plus your cleaning solution. You dump that into the opening here in the front. So very easy fill. There's even a funnel that's retractable if you want to fill it up that way. So you fill your solution up. And then the uh, black portion here is where the vacuum is attached. Inside there, there's the motor. So it pulls all that dirt in. And in the end, when you're done in the back, they have this nifty little hose attachment here there you go so you just put that into your uh, bucket and you can drain out that dirty solution so it's very very simple and it has uh, these hooks there in the back it has a tray where you can store stuff as well so you can lug it around it is pretty compact for the power that it has and speaking about power this is where uh, you get uh, the big advantage compared to an inexpensive model so this one here it has a three-stage motor that draws 100 cfm or 130 inches of water lift so the pump itself generates 120 psi uh, and 1.3 gallons per minute of uh, water displacement so super powerful uh, it has an integrated built-in thousand watt heater so that's one of the main features it has that built-in heater uh, by the way the draw with the power cord is roughly 19 amps so i connect this to my 20 amp circuit just so you guys are aware uh, it's probably going to trip the breaker if you only have a 15 amp circuit so i recommend that you use a 20 amp circuit with this uh, so it's made in the usa much heavier unit coming in at 45 pounds or 20.4 kilos uh, also the tank in the front much bigger capacity compared to the smaller tank on the bissell unit so on the mighty uh, 8070 light model, this is the uh, third iteration of it, so the latest generation. Uh, it has a four gallon tank in the front for your water uh, and uh, cleaning solution. So uh, yeah, that's a lot you can do pretty much uh, an average to big size car with this. And if you have to refill, it's super simple. You just refill here in the front and you continue on as long as you empty the uh, dirty tank as you go when you're done using the, uh, the tank with the solution in it, right? So um, yeah, that's it. So very powerful motor. For the uh, warranty, what are we looking with this? It has a one-year parts and labor warranty. It has a two-year major components warranty. So the heater, the pump, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it has a 10-year limited housing warranty. So for the exterior, the plastics, and that kind of stuff. So very uh, thorough, very uh, complete warranty. But you probably won't need it because this is as high-end as it can get. And that built-in heater, by the way, it can uh, heat the water up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's almost 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, yeah, like right in there, you're getting a lot more heating performance for some light disinfecting duties as well. Uh, but basically that integrated heater with the higher heat is going to break down the grease and grime a lot easier when you're using the unit. Uh, both of them are fairly quiet for what they are, although this one has a more powerful motor. So you will hear that in the demo. If we look at the uh, rear of the unit, so let me spin that around for you. So this is where 
You have all your buttons in the back, so very simple to operate. You're gonna first start by uh, turning on the pump button and you're gonna prime the gun itself or the upholstery tool by squeezing it. And as you can see, it's spraying on a bit of solution. So you're gonna do that continuously by spraying in the front tank, right? Because it's clean solution. So that's gonna prime the, uh, the pump and of course prime the uh, upholstery tool itself. Then you're going to turn on the heat button. So this is the uh, heater itself. You're gonna wait for roughly 10 minutes for the optimal temperature to be reached. And then you're going to activate, so the third switch, which is the vacuum when you're ready to start using it. So is there one that's better than the other? Well, again, Again, it depends on your needs and on your budget. They both do a fantastic job. Uh, if again, so who does this unit, uh, who is this made for, right? So the Bissell, if you're just a weekend warrior uh, detailing enthusiast, or even if you're a car detailing professional, you're starting your business, for example, or you don't want to invest heavily uh, into higher end extractors because you might not do that or need it all the time or you might not need that extra performance. Well, this is a no brainer coming in at 165 USD or just under 200 Canadian dollars. I mean, the unit does the job. It is compact in size. Uh, if you're a mobile detailer, by the way, and you want something more professional than this, but still compact, the alternative to this mighty is the S300H that you can also get that has an integrated or built-in heater. So that uh, unit, the S300H from Mighty is smaller, more compact, and more portable, so uh, better for the mobile detailers out there. But if you have a big garage or a shop setting and you want more performance, you have the budget. So again, roughly uh, 1,379 USD or 1,650 Canadian dollars, and you want uh, you have the budget. You want just want the top performance and you want something that is built heavy duty and that will last forever, well then this is the solution for you. So there's always something depending on your budget and on your needs, guys. You don't need to spend uh, over a thousand bucks to get something high performance. As I said, you're gonna see uh, many, many pro detailers out there on YouTube that still use something like the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. Uh, I myself have been using this for probably, what is it, over a year to almost two years now uh, that I purchased this. Anyhow, I digress. Uh, it works quite well. Uh, it has never failed on me and it still does the job. Definitely this one, as far as performance is concerned, is on a completely different level. Uh, made in the USA, so very, very sturdy from the build itself. This is built like a tank and uh, just the power that it gives. Once you start using it, you're going to notice the difference. So now I know you pretty much want to see a demo. So we're going to talk about uh, basically what you need for the solution that you put in these guys, how to dilute them, how they work, uh, see them in operation as well. And and we're gonna do uh, a demo on two carpets, so, so you can see that. But if you wanna see future videos on dirtier interiors with these machines, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video, and uh, we'll try and make that happen for you. So now, let's dig into the demo. Okay guys, so for a quick demo today, we're gonna wash or clean the uh, two carpets from my uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S. So they're not too dirty. Uh, this is the uh, passenger side, and this is the uh, driver's side. So uh, yeah, the interior hasn't been clean in roughly two weeks. So perfect demo. We're gonna use the uh, driver's side to be fair with the uh, more expensive Mighty Light uh, to see how it cleans this. And this is gonna be the one we're gonna use with the uh, this carpet here, the passenger side, with the Bissell Spot Clean Pro unit to basically bring you through the uh, what you would do for carpet and upholstery type scenarios. So first of all, you're gonna need a few items. So when you're doing a carpet or upholstery extraction inside your units, you can put either just clean water if you want to, or to have a bit more cleaning capabilities, you're gonna put something that's made for extractors. So in this case, what I like to use is the extractor shampoo from a PNS. This is a, an American-based company. They make very good quality products and this is inexpensive. You only need about 10 ounces of this for a four gallon solution. So for example, if you're preparing your uh, Mighty 87 Delight, you would put four gallons of water and just 10 ounces of this inside there. Uh, and because the Bissell Spot Clean Pro is a uh, des unit designed for home users mainly, they make a lot of cleaners themselves. So they have this one. This is the Bissell Auto Cleansing Solution. So this one here basically is two capfuls of this in the water tank, which I already pre-filled. So uh, on the unit itself, they uh, give you the water line. So up to where you uh, fill this, let me show you closer. You're gonna see the water line. So that's where you bring your water up to. 
and you have your solution in there, I put some warm water. So uh, warm water from the tap in there with two capfuls of solution and you're good to start using. Now on your carpets and upholstery, before you use your extractors, you wanna do a bit of work. So what I like to start to do is to take a brush. So a carpet and upholstery brush and just start knocking out any loose dirt and debris and then you're gonna vacuum the, the carpet. So let's do that. All right, so we did the vacuuming. Now what we're gonna do is use a carpet and upholstery cleaner or something like this. This is the uh, PNS Carpet Bomber. So this is a stain remover that works very, very well. So uh, basically it's made to uh, clean carpets and upholstery. You can use, uh, if you want an, uh, an APC, an all-purpose cleaner, diluted appropriately for use on carpets uh, and floor mats or whatever you guys want, basically. So we're going to lightly spray. You want some light application. So don't go too heavy with the cleaner itself. And then the magic is to have something like this. So you take uh, your um, drill brush attachment, which I like here, and you put it on your cordless drill. So this one here has soft bristles. They have different colored versions, depending if you want medium or stiff. The white ones typically, uh, depending again uh, what you want, are the lighter agitation. And you just brush this whole thing. It makes cleaning very, very simple. And then when we're done with that, that's when we're going to extract. So let's go ahead and clean. It's better to do multiple light passes than one heavy pass. You don't want too much suds because uh, don't forget, you're gonna want to extract that and you don't want to leave the uh, all-purpose cleaner or the carpet cleaner in the fabric because it can brown the fabric if left there and it can also reactivate the dirt and stains later on when you put more dirt on it. So that's why we use extractors when we're done cleaning the surface to make sure we pull all of that and make the, um, the carpets very clean themselves. So second light application. Again, with the drill brush. So this is very, very quick, as you can tell. Now, to help before extracting, I always take a microfiber towel or cloth. You're gonna block the excess. So blot it out, and that way you're removing as much moisture as possible. This smells awesome, by the way. So you're gonna have a nice, clean smell. The same for the solutions in both tanks, by the way. So here already, look at this. It didn't look too dirty, right? But look at the contrast. Look at all that dirt that's on the microfiber towel. So already with just this, we're extracting tons of dirt. So in the Mighty, once again, I put the extractor shampoo from PNS and inside the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, I used Bissell's own auto cleansing solution in there. So now it's time to do the extraction with the Bissell on this one. So we have the warm water with the solution in the tank here in the back. There's this operating button that you just have to click start, this red button here, and you're good to go. So you're gonna hear the uh, sound level as well. By the way, there's this trigger here. So when I press the trigger, probably gonna see this now, it sprays, you have to turn it on before, sorry. So when you're pressing the trigger, it spreads, it spits out all that cleaning solution and it sucks it right back in to go into the uh, dirt tank here in the front. So you're extracting all that dirt, you're neutralizing the cleaner as well and having just this clean and not too humid or moist uh, mat at the end, you let it air dry and uh, then the uh, customer is gonna be happy or your car is gonna be happy because it has clean mats. By the way, when you're doing some carpet extraction, it's recommended to do two dry passes for every wet pass. So when you're injecting the liquid, you're gonna do your first pass and then come back twice without activating the trigger just to use the vacuum portion to remove as much water and moisture as possible. So now we're gonna do the dry passes. And this is it. Now we have a beautifully clean 
a nice smelling carpet. All that is left is to let it air dry. Once it's air dry, you can do a few lines in the carpet. I like to do that for the customers because it gives it that ultimate detail look. So you take a carpet and a upholstery brush. You're gonna first brush all the fibers in the one direction. And then you're gonna make lines in the opposite direction while skipping every line. So this takes just a few seconds. It gives it that nice, clean, detailed appearance and people usually love that. So look at this. You see how good this looks? Imagine that in a vehicle, it looks beautiful. And once it's dry, you can put a carpet and fabric protector, also known as a fabric guard. So you spray that on and uh, read the instructions depending on which one you're applying. And it's gonna make liquid spills a lot easier to clean and make maintenance cleanings a lot easier. So that was for the Bissell. Let's do the same operation now for the uh, carpet that is for the driver's side. So this is the dirtier one. We're gonna first, again, same thing, start by vacuuming. Of course, first with a brush to agitate and remove like all the little grass that we see there, most of the dirt and debris. Now we can vacuum. Right, so same as before, we're gonna use the uh, PNS carpet bomber, a light application, and we're gonna use the, uh, the drill, the cordless drill with the drill brush attachment to agitate. Do a second light application. Multiple light applications is always better than many heavier duty applications. Now, let's take a clean side of the microfiber and blot this too to remove any excess liquid or moisture before we use the extractor. Already just with this, there is a huge, huge difference. But again, the reason why you also use the extractor is not only go deeper in the fibers to pick up and loosen up grease and grime, but also to neutralize whatever carpet cleaner or APC you used. So this one too, on this side, very, very dirty on the microfiber towel. And now we are ready to start using this. So the uh, pump is already pre-primed. I started the pump, of course, then the heater was on for more than 10 minutes at this point. So the water is heated up or the cleaning solution that's in the tank. And now I just have to start the vacuum. So let me turn that on and do the extraction. So you saw the difference for the one with the Mighty, a lot more cleaning power, a lot more suction power, so that's pretty cool. So once again, you're gonna let this air dry once it's fully dried. Already now, like if, let me take a dry side. So this is my glove, if you wanna see. I'm running this over the surface. There's just a little bit of humidity, so it's not dripping wet, and that's exactly what we want out of extractors. So you would let that air dry, Come in with your brush, brush the fibers all in one direction, and then brush in an opposite direction to create those beautiful lines or whatever design you want. And then look at that. You have a beautiful carpet that has that deep cleaning, light disinfection as well with the Mighty because of the higher heat, right? 210 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. And uh, yeah, just that cleaning. We neutralized whatever cleaner we had before there, either an all-purpose cleaner or the carpet and the fabric cleaner. 
when we carpet an upholstery cleaner, whatever you guys use. So now we know it's neutralized. There's nothing left. There's just a fresh scent and that's what we want. The interior is gonna smell amazing regardless of which cleaning solution you use. And now we're gonna empty the tanks so you guys can see that in operation. So when you're done, empty the dirt tanks, by the way. So for the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, very simple. You unlock the lever, you pull it up, then you set the tank down, pull the lever completely back. Now you can remove the top. And look at that. This, by the way, is the uh, dirt water just from the passenger side floor mat. Look at that, that's disgusting. So now you can empty it out. So imagine on dirtier surfaces, how even muckier that water would be. Look how disgusting that is. And now for the mighty unit, there's this drain hose in the back. So this is for the dirt tank. You unscrew the cap, very, very simple. And you dump it inside there. And that's pretty much it. You can tilt the unit back. And that way you're releasing all of that dirt water in there. And this too, completely disgusting what comes out of there. And this is on a vehicle that's not too dirty to start with, right? So did we get all of that dirt water? Let me tilt that. Yeah, there we go. And when you're done draining this, hopefully you guys can tell, look at how dirty and mucky that water is. So there you go. You just put back the drain cap and that's it. You hook it on the little hooks and you're good to go. And again, look at that disgusting water. And that's from just two floor mats on a vehicle that is uh, often cleaned and uh, well, well maintained, right? So again, I think the dirt level speaks for itself. Imagine what they can do on dirtier vehicles. So guys, I remind you the two units that we had today for the uh, the demo and this versus video on the cheap side or the inexpensive side, that doesn't mean that it's cheap quality, right? It's still very good quality. It's just inexpensive, so more value oriented. We have the Bissell Spot Clean Pro unit and on the more expensive side, the Pro Grade Mighty 8070 Lite uh, version. Again, I'll leave links to all the stuff we spoke about today in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, if you want to see them in action in a few Future video, let me know uh, which one, or do you want to see each one in a dedicated video on more uh, dirty upholstery and carpets, that kind of stuff? Drop a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, by the way, welcome to the Pandy Organizer family. And to make sure you never miss my future videos, click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So, guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.